Hello, influencers. How are we doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whew, you're welcome to another interesting edition of No Host Bad with IT. My name is Itunu. Thank you so much for holding forth. I appreciate all of you, my subscribers. And those who are here to subscribe, I appreciate you because I know you will. I trust you. So let me just allow you to do this. Then we roll with the story of today's because I'm going to talk about Osinachi's autopsy. You know, I mean, we can't rest this case yet. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it has to be trashed out. Some thoughts came to me and uh, again, based on what has been flying out there. So I wanted to see the possibility of uh, influence, you know, on that, on the result of that document. All right. Is that fair enough? All right. So let me allow you to subscribe. Then we will roll with the story. Do this. Thank you so much. I appreciate you greatly. God bless you. So about two weeks ago, the autopsy result was released to the public uh, space. And we talked about it on this channel. Uh, for those of us who are not really conversant, Osnachi Uwajuku was a gospel artist, a singer in a big church in Nigeria. And I, these are the owners of the church, Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Nenche. They are both medical doctors. And um, this lady has been with them for about five years. And they claim ignorance of the domestic situation, the domestic violence she was going through. Her husband was actually beating her or punching her and all that. So she she died. Uh, so the, the results came out and there are a lot of things. Yeah, on the video I did that time, I got some feedbacks. And I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to show you, I'm going to read to you because even when she was in the hospital before her before before she eventually died the doctors that treated her actually said they had she had blood uh bleeding in on her chest in her chest region in her chest region so uh, and we are like okay what is what was the cause of that bleeding a lot of you wrote in uh when i Drop that video. The general, the general opinion, the general thoughts was that no, that autopsy result was a fraud, mm -hmm. and that I, 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 I want to even ask: Is it possible for this thing to be done outside Nigeria? Don't forget, I dropped a video where I, I'm going to put the link to that video here where I, I said. Uh, Paul Peter Osinachi's husband uh, wanted demanded to see Pastor Paul. Did you remember hmm. that? I'm going to put the link here if you, if you have not seen that video. He is still in custody. Uh, the government did not allow him to be bailed, so he's still there. So he demanded to see Pastor Paul that time. The result wasn't out as, as at that time. So I dropped that video and I was like, okay, why did you want to see him? Was there something they needed to trash out? Was that was there something they needed to that me and you, okay, come and see me. Let's talk. Let's let's discuss what we have in between us. All right. So a lot of a lot of people say, hey, no, it's not, it should it is not possible for this uh, result, this report to exonerate Paul. Somebody wrote in, he said, uh, the, the writer is uh, the Heaven Mandate International. I said, there must have been a foul play. I don't believe this and will never believe it. A game must have been played perfectly well with those big, big medical names and terms. That must have been the delay of bringing it this out this late. Then he, he explained, there was an exclamation, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so 
the result the the process was long for weeks this lady had died april 8th and on and on and on and on people were waiting what is going to be the result and all that then it came and said okay no physical abuse okay so this writer is saying there must be a foul play was this why Paul, uh, Peter, or oh, his husband went to see, demanded to see Pastor Inenche? I'm saying in this video that the language of Pastor Inenche, when he tried to defend himself, you remember all those medical jargons he was saying in that uh, in that defense, uh, this is this, 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 that. That is the same language this this report is, is 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 saying. That is the same language it's saying actually. It's saying uh, a lot of I read it to you last time when we when we met, all those medical you know jargons like this person you know wrote. They concluded that okay, there is so much deposit in and out of the heart, lungs, kidneys, and this lady was on her feet. Up to the uh, on this time, she she was hospitalized because of the beating of her spleen. It was enlarged. There was water in her heart. Uh, all all what not. So this in, uh, this report and Pastor Paul in nature's defense. When he, he when he, he defended, he said that he didn't know anything about abdomen uh, situation. All the medical thing he was he reeled out that time. I'm beginning to look at the similarities. Don't forget, Paul Inetje is a medical doctor. Is there anything between him and Paul <laughs> that okay, if you don't help me to get out of this mess, I'm going to split the beans. Anything is possible. Okay, maybe I'm thinking aloud, okay. I just leave you to do it the church. Another one said, Well done for the info. Good morning, sister. I to know. I smell a rat here. But God knows the truth of the matter. Whatever has been conspired in this case, we can't do anything about it. <clears throat> it's it whatever the government judgment will be. But there is God somewhere watching. One day, everyone is going to stand before him to receive his own reward. That's coming from uh, Madam Matilda. Ain't no. All right. So everybody suspected uh, something. Someone, Monisola, they can be said impossible. He must be jailed for murder and conspiracy. Another one, Hosea Sankwa said, there will be no justice if this man go free. Please, it's me. Oh, okay, okay. That's another one. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. Okay, so, another one said, yeah, if a uh, face a calling said, this is nonsense after all the maltreatments. All right? So another one from my Miller said, please women, take care of yourself. Marriage is not compulsory. She's dead now. This man might walk away free. Anxiety will cause all these organ issues. It is really sad. Mm -hmm. Another one, Uluada Udamilola said, I swear there is politics in play here. The autopsy report should be rechecked because if this man go free, he will do worse, like very worse. <laughs> and that was the uh, divine intervention fire minister said, my sister, what are you talking? <laughs> he will never go out of it. What is the nature talking about the children? Yeah. We, you rem so by and large across board, people suspected that something had gone wrong, something, some things had gone under the table. 
that's why I say I, I'm going to do this video that let me know your thoughts as usual. Talking about the children, somebody asked here, what is the nature doing about the children? I said in the video I dropped last week concerning her, uh, her sister, her twin sister, her twin sister, when she came out begging for help, that why I did not do any video by asking the nature this question is that he, he might have done something, he doesn't have to come out to say, okay, hey, this is what I'm doing. But that, that now that the sister has come out to say they, are, they need help, and that means the nature is not doing anything. It's as simple as that. He's not doing anything. This is a woman that will, you, you people will do ministration together, you do duets together, she will be singing, you will be kabashing, I did a video about that. And here we are. That's what we're saying. Ultimately, women, your life is in your hands. Yeah, your life is in your hands. If marriage no do work, let me tell us there is no marriage in heaven. Christ himself said it when they asked him, okay, uh, somebody died, the man died, uh, another person married his wife, that one died, uh, another person married a woman, none and all like that. They asked Christ at the end of the day, when they get to heaven, who will be the husband of the of the woman? Because she has married several several women. Christ said there is no marriage in heaven. So don't kill yourself. Unfortunately, in Africa, in Nigeria, African countries, we see marriage as, okay, if I'm not married, then I'm not complete. It's a status, you know, status symbol. A lot of people are in marriage, they are, they are suffering there, but they stay just to be called missing somebody. Just to show off that, okay, I'm married. It's crazy. All right, people. No long videos. Let me know what to talk tomorrow. I'm going to be talking. I'm going to be, uh, we're going to be doing money making Tuesday. Yeah. You know, you, you remember uh, the the business. Um, a lot of people have come on board with it. <laughs> and they are enjoying, enjoying, enjoying. It's okay. So tomorrow we're going to be talking about that. How you can make passive income, residual income. That's where the word is is now. This is your phone. Stop taking selfie. <laughs> you are using one percent of what you are holding in your hands as well. A lot of us are very expensive food, but you are using one percent of it. Use it to make money. All right. Tomorrow I'm going to tell you a lot on that. Until I come your way tomorrow by the special grace of God. My name is Etunu. And I love you like no man's business. Please stay close to God and just do things that will satisfy you. Don't let anybody push you around. Whatever, do things that will make you be at peace, that will make your conscience be at peace. That's all. You owe nobody nothing. You owe nobody any explanation as to how you are living your life, okay? All right, people. I'm going to see you tomorrow by the grace of God. Mm. I love you like, no man's business. See ya.